Coming up on Headlines, we'll take a virtual trip to the pristine Carolina coastline here in Pittsburgh. We'll find out how many PTHS students are applying for college. And we'll take an inside look at how our varsity field hockey team is on their way to another successful season. Welcome to Headlines. I'm Aiden Dowdall. And I'm Maddie Morgan. Many students at PTHS are willing to give up their lunch or study hall to assist in the school's library. They help to aid the librarians in helping their classmates to locate and check out books as well as help coordinate popular library events. Library assistants are students who volunteer to exchange their study hall in order to help out the school librarians Mrs. Fetcher and Mrs. Gilroy. They do everything from shelving books, checking in and out passes, to setting up the entire library arts cafe. My favorite part about being a library assistant is that it's really laid back and you get to do your homework and study, but you also get to help out at the school and Mrs. Fetcher's brownies are amazing. Some of the perks, other than the brownies of course, include easy access for checking out books, learning new skills, and giving students a chance to work with new people. Their main task is to help students with their way around the library, like figuring out the printers, helping students find books that match their interests, and transporting the computer carts for classrooms throughout the school to help teachers and students. And this is Kaylee Parker reporting from the PTHS Library, and that was your segment on library assistance. For more information about becoming a high school library assistant, please contact one of the librarians, Ms. Gilroy or Mrs. Fetcher, in the high school library. The Lady Indian Volleyball team is being led by the two seniors, Emmy Pluskina and Lauren Valentic. Their home court is right here at PTHS, and they typically play on Tuesday and Thursday evenings. The Peters Township High School Volleyball team recently got a coach change. The new varsity head coach, Nicole Oaks, is joined by Zaza Storm and Brandon Hansen. The team is also led by seniors Lauren Valentic and Emmy Plaskina. Um, our goals for the season are to improve on our process and really just come together as a team, as one big family. The girls have made Whippeal playoffs in previous years and are looking for another appearance and a section title. Their last game of the season is versus their rival, Canon Mac, in October. This is Cassidy Vaccarella reporting live from the Peters Township High School gym. You can also watch home volleyball games all season long right here on Peters Township Community Television. For a complete schedule and air times, visit ptct7.com. If you plan to attend an upcoming game, be sure to check the Peters Township School District website for dates and times. Peters Township High School sponsors many clubs that students can get involved in. One such club is the Future Business Leaders of America. This year, the president is Alex Wang, the vice presidents are Natalie Ahillen and Anish Umredkar, and the treasurer is Elizabeth Hartsfeld. At the Peters Township High School, Future Business Leaders of America is a business club that introduces students to the business and leadership world. There are multiple ways to get involved in the club to compete at the Regional Leadership Conference in December. Students take business-related tests and complete a variety of different projects to get to States and Hershey, PA. At States, we competed in our individual events, and mine was insurance and risk management. And we also got the opportunity to compete as a group and teams, and I competed in the business bowl, which we won. And uh, there was a lot of different activities for us to do that were business-related, and we got to go to Hershey Park, which was a lot of fun. Come to the next meeting on Tuesday, September 17th for more information. And this is Natalia Hillen, reporting live from the Peters Township High School at room 228. For more information on PTHS clubs, watch the morning announcements Monday through Friday at 8.17 a.m. on Channel 7 or go to PTHS Period 1 Media on YouTube. The Peters Township High School 2019 field hockey team has been preparing for their section play, starting with playing against Penn Trafford. One of the girls' main focuses this year is to respect each other more, on and off the field. The Peters Township field hockey team began conditioning for this season in July. The former JV coach stepped up to the varsity level as head coach for this season. Coming off of our 2018 season as undefeated Whippeal champions, um, it's definitely a little nerve-wracking as a new head coach coming in and having that title, but I think our season so far has showed us that um, we're going to continue to uh, relive hopefully last year um, we're 
We have strong forwards, mids, and defense. We lost a lot of our starting um, seniors last year, but we have figured out how to replace them. <laughs> um, and we're, we're taking practice seriously, and we're practicing different things like a press on defense. Um, different corners are being integrated into our practice, um, as well as transitioning the ball from field to field. So hopefully with all of this practice and the girls' intensity, we can keep winning. Reporting live from Peters Township Stadium, home of the Lady Indians, this is Ava Pugliano. Be sure to come out and support the girls on Wednesday, October 9th at the Peters Township High School Stadium as they play against Pine Ridgeland. Thespian Troop 185 performs several times each year in the PTHS Auditorium. The first show this season is Clue. For more about the show, we go to reporter Elizabeth Neron. Peters Township High School's fall play is currently in production. This year, the students will be performing Clue. Based on the board game, it will keep you guessing until the end. The audience will be on their toes as the players attempt to find a murderer in a mansion. They will have to use different clues to find this person. So, Clue is a very funny comedy um, about these guests who get invited to a dinner party and then the dinner party doesn't turn out the way they expected it to. The cast has been working hard to put on a great show and they will not disappoint. The cast includes Colin Apt, Sarah Parker, Ellie McCalla, Zach Winchell, and Gordon Hardy. This is Elizabeth Neron reporting to you live from the auditorium. Clue will be performed in October starting the 25th with opening night at 7 p.m. There will also be a matinee at 2 p.m. on the 26th with another performance that night at 7 p.m. Tickets are sold at the door for $5 per student and $10 for an adult. Visit at PTHS Presents for more information on the upcoming play. It's time to start taking steps toward the application process for the senior class. To learn more about the application in the Common App, we go to Maddie Mazziniak. Here at Peter Township High School, we use the Common Application as a way to apply to various institutions. It is a way for you to fill in all of your information regarding your family, testing, and outside of school activities all in one place. Under each specific college, there is information about writing, deadlines, and financial aid. Common App is a really good place to apply to colleges because all your information that you need to apply to colleges is all in one place and you can access it anywhere, either at home or at school and you can apply at any time. In the counseling office, there is a map with all of the colleges you can apply with Common App. Also located in there is a poster with an A to Z list of all the colleges and the website at the bottom. This has been Maddie Mazziniak reporting live from the Peters Township Counseling Office. If you still have unanswered questions or would like to learn more about the Common App, visit your guidance counselor or visit the commonapp.org for assistance. Also, the guidance counselors provide an individualized college planning and Naviance assistance on Workshop Wednesdays. Starting in Duck, North Carolina, Duck Donuts has expanded their business to now 83 locations across the United States. Duck Donuts is open every day from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. this season. The Duck Donuts franchise began in Duck, North Carolina. Russ and DeGillo started the franchise in 2006 and they now have 83 locations across the United States. All of our donuts are vanilla cake based and they come fresh off the fryer so they're warm when you're ready to eat them. Um, we have a ton of coatings, toppings, and drizzles for you to pick from. Each donut is made to order so it's custom to what you want. Pittsburgh location often partners with local nonprofits and organizations. Duck Donuts provides a custom donut shop experience that you can't get anywhere else. Reporting live from Duck Donuts, this is Sam Dadieko for Peters Township Community Television. Their donuts are all freshly homemade and start at $1.85 per donut. To purchase their freshly made donuts, you can visit them at 100 Siena Drive, Pittsburgh, PA, located across from the South Hills Village Mall off Route 19. According to Pew Research Center, one-third of all teams hold a part-time job. Before entering the workforce, it is recommended that you, a work permit is obtained. The child labor law suggests minors to get a work permit to begin their work experience. The program enables health, safety, and welfare to minors. 
Our school district, Peters Township, is responsible for giving minors permits when they ask. How you get your work permit is you go to the attendance office and you get an application. You bring it back the next day with your parents' signature after they tell you what to bring and then eventually you get it done. Minors do not need to have a job offer to get a permit. They may not work more than three hours on a school day and no more than eight on a free day. Minors are required to get a break after five hours of work. And if you lose your permit, you cannot get a new one. Reporting at you live from Peters Township High School, I am Brooke Hazard. If you are a student and are interested in working a part-time job, you can visit the attendance office to inquire about obtaining a work permit. While many students are busy with part-time jobs, schoolwork, and various other activities, getting an adequate amount of sleep has been proven to be just as vital for their development. A new school year means teenagers are getting up earlier for school, but studies show that this can negatively affect their academic performance and overall health. According to the National Sleep Foundation, teenagers need around 8 to 10 hours of sleep, but they only get around 6 to 7 and a half hours a night. The Better Health Channel recommends that teens avoid screens, bright lights, caffeinated drinks, and foods before bed. This time of year, a lot of kids come in being tired um, and run down because school's just started and everyone's active with their activities and sports. So the benefits of good sleep will help you in your schoolwork, in your activities, and everything, everyday life. This is Adam Smoker reporting from the Peter Sandrup High School, and you're watching PTCT7. If you're concerned that you're not getting enough sleep to support your daily lifestyle, don't hesitate to consult your doctor or go to www.sleepfoundation.org to learn more about sleep disorders and healthy sleep habits. At PTHS, many media-related electives are offered. One of these electives is the on-air talent class. Media on-air talent class is a semester-long course. It covers how to give speeches, host TV shows, and students give the morning announcements. The class is taught by Mr. Bastos. Um, my favorite thing about on-air talent is it's a different kind of course than a lot of things. It's really practical application of speaking. Uh, I know speaking is part of the English standards, standards in the state of Pennsylvania, right but we don't put it practically outside of speeches. So we're talking places where kids are really going out and talking to real people, investigating things they enjoy, uh, and getting to really um, have a real scenario where they're trying to put that stuff into play. This has been Kaz Monchek reporting live from the Peters Township High School. On-Air Talent is offered for students grades 10 through 12. Media On-Air Talent is an option for gaining knowledge and giving speeches and being in front of the camera. Welcome back to Headlines. For the past couple of years, there have been problems involving the buses, dismissal time, and the student lot. In an effort to rectify these issues, PTHS has now in implemented new guidelines. This year, the Peters Township High School administration has made some changes in how the parking lot runs. The lots are now split into four different lots. Lots A and B are located next to the stadium and in the front of the high school. Student drivers with a parking pass are only permitted to enter and exit the lot through the stadium entrance. Lot C and D, also known as the student lot and spots on the hill, must enter and exit through the main entrance of the school. There have been mixed reviews from students on the new parking lot rules. I think the school is trying to do their best with the parking lot. Uh, in the morning it's a lot better and less congested, but also in the afternoon when everyone's trying to get out, uh, it's not as great. <laughs> Student drop-off is still the same as in previous years, along with the rules for student pickup. Finally, please remember to obey all traffic laws and pay attention to the posted signs. <laughs> this has been Lydia Brow reporting to you live from the Peters Township parking lot. The administration is hopeful that this will help make it easier for parents, students, and faculty to enter and exit the school in a safe and timely manner. Peters Township residents recently welcomed the opportunity to attend an informative pres presentation where various species of reptiles were showcased. Colin Apt has more from Peters Woods Park. 
On Wednesday, September 5th, the Peters Township Parks and Rec Department hosted an event at the Peterswood Park Amphitheater. An animal trainer from Animal Tracks came to educate the Peters Township community about several different reptile species and interesting facts about them. Maddie Marcanio, who attended this event, has a few things to say. It was so fun to see the geckos and the snakes and the lizards and the turtles and all these little kids playing with them, especially because like, we don't have those around here. The animal trainer introduced the crowd to a salamander, python, bearded dragon, North American walking stick bug, a tortoise, and a white tree frog. This is Colin Apt reporting live from Petersburg Park. For a complete list of community events, please visit peterstownship.com. Events throughout the year include various concerts, workshops, and festivals for people of all ages. National Honor Society is a national organization that has a chapter here at PTHS. NHS helps students prepare for college by providing college admission and financial aid planning, opportunities for service projects, and leadership positions. September 5th marks the start of NHS in the 2019-2020 school year. The sponsors are Ms. Berger and Mrs. Kendrick, and the officers are Max Mitchell, Isabel Myers, Emma Scarton, and Cassidy Sweeney. Every year, the National Honors Society chooses a selected number of students to apply. Students must have a certain number of service activity and leadership hours to be accepted. NHS is a group of students that I feel does a lot of community service and I think building up at the same time. For example, we do hot and hallways and we do our volleyball tournament and the whole goal of those is twofold. One is that we raise money for really good causes, but in addition, we try to bring our community together and I think that's really important. This is Dejanay Lowry reporting live from Peters Township High School. Many students at PTHS portray their exceptional leadership skills through being nominated to partake in the nationally renowned community service organization, NHS. This year, PTHS took steps to implement a new idea to guide and encourage students to be the one. Peters Township High School is implementing a new motto in the 2019 school year, Be the One. PTHS created this theme to encourage individuality. The motto can mean different things to different people. You can embrace this motto by working hard to improve your grades, sitting with someone alone at lunch, or simply holding the door open for the person behind you. Uh, so every summer we think about a theme that goes along with the work we're doing at the high school. Um, we started last year with Rachel's Challenge, and our theme was Kindness Matters, and we really pushed the idea of being kind to one another. Um, so this year we wanted to kind of take it a step further and make it a little bit more personal. Uh, so we kicked around a bunch of different ones. Um, Be the Change was another one we, we thought about doing. But we like the idea of being the one because it really could be applied to anything that is individualized for a person. By taking a little time out of your day to show compassion, you could be the one to change someone's life forever. This has been Gabby Tom reporting to you from the Peters Township High School main office. For the second year, the Peters Township School District is embracing Rachel's challenge by implementing Rachel's legacy to help a more, create a more accepting school environment. The new seasons bring new attractions and activities. Tracks Farms is hosting their fall festivities this year, which allows you to pick pumpkins, buy fall decorations, and buy their well-known apple cider that has been around since 1963. Fall is approaching us and there's so many seasonal activities to experience this year. A main attraction is Trax Farm. Their fall festivities start September 28th and are every weekend until October 26th. My favorite thing is to come to the pumpkin festival and bring my grandchildren and pick a pumpkin and then take it home and carve it and enjoy all the fresh apples and apple cider and the good things they have here. While at Trax, don't forget to buy your fresh produce in the market area. Their great tasting, well-known apple cider has been around since 1963. To bring the fall feels to your home, buy some cute decor and beautiful fall flowers. Drop by Trax Farm for some fun fall activities. And I'm Sarah Heisinger reporting from Trax Farm. The Trax Fall festivities begin on September 28th and last every weekend until October 26th. The Fall Fest will open each Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Activities that you can participate in at the Fall Fest include a bouncy house, rock wall, axe throwing, and many other autumn-themed games. 
There will also be hay rides going for $10 per adult and $8 for children's ages 3 through 12. Live music will also be performed throughout the weekends. For those dates, go to tracksfarms.com slash fall dash fest slash. That has been all for this edition of Headlines. I'm Aiden Dowdo. And I'm Maddie Morgan. We'll see you next time. Really about and what ways you can improve and